A good fight, man. I told y'all, boxing this year, hands down, they doing their thing, man. I mean, 2017 has started out to be really, really excellent in boxing, man. I mean, I don't know how many times I can reiterate how much you guys need to watch this stuff, man. If you're a boxing fan, you got to be tuned in to this stuff. You can't miss out on these matches, man. I watched this Broner fight, and I was impressed. I was, I was, I was impressed with the action. It was action all the way through. Both guys gave it what they had. Both guys got tired. It was a back and forth type of fight. Both guys took some some shots, took some punishment. Um, it was an inside fight. Broner, you know, he wanted to try to bring some boxing skill in. Yeah, uh, he he wanted to try to play behind his jab. He wanted to try to stick and move, but <clears throat> Granados wasn't having it. You know, he was pressing, pressing the action, man. He was coming forward. He wasn't afraid. He wasn't running from this guy. He even had moments where he was boxing and and going in and out and and making Broner miss. But it just it was that type of fight where if you didn't get in. And, and get up, get work in on the inside. You just wasn't going to win this fight. It doesn't matter if Broner's hand was hurt, if he couldn't throw the jab anymore. It didn't. That didn't even matter because it was just going to be that type of fight because Granados wanted it to be that kind of fight. And had he continued to press the action the way that he was supposed to um, all the way down the stretch, and if he would have kind of not even just pressed it the way he was supposed to, but it, if he would have, um, what am I looking for? I mean, if if he would have found a way to separate himself from Broner just a little bit, he would have won the fight. He would have won the fight. So hometown advantage, all of that, it was a close fight. It was a close fight. And that's the way a lot of these fights have played out this year. And that's the way I think it's going to continue to play out um, because a lot of guys are hungry. They they know that Floyd is not the face of boxing anymore. Um, the crown is up for grabs. Everybody's trying to get in the mix so that they can get paid. So guys are willing to do what they have to do to get in that ring, man, and make this money. And, and also try to get the title of being one of the, the best fighters in in the ring, in the business today. They want that title. So <clears throat> the money is one thing, but the title is everything because the fans are demanding it now. The fans want to know, is their guy the next guy to carry boxing? You know, is it going to be Canelo? Is it going to be Andre Ward? Is it going to be Wilder? Is it going to be Anthony Joshua? Is it going to be uh, one of the Charlo brothers? Is it going to be Julio Chavez? I got to laugh at that one. Um, you know, who who is it going to be? Who's going to be the guy that's going to be um, the, the, the most entertaining? Who's going to be the guy that is going to go in there and box? Who's going to be the guy that's going to have the most heart? Who's going to, you know... It's just that it's just that type of it's that time. It's it's that that uh I don't even know it is it's just what boxing is right now. It's just what it is because everybody's trying to get in the mix of being the best. You know, I said that before and I'm just going to keep on going with that, man, because that's just what it's going to be this year. It's going to be hard to knock guys out um the way guys were knocking knocking people out previously because the competition wasn't as steep due to revenue issues due to knowing who was the best in boxing and which which names were gonna kind of if you will were gonna carry the sport you knew last year it was gonna be the same names over and over again Canelo Alvarez Floyd Mayweather Manny Pacquiao Maybe you would have sprinkled Keith Thurman in there. Maybe you would have sprinkled Danny Garcia. 
you know, maybe you would have you would have sprinkled in multiple names, but those names would have just been like I'm saying, they would have just been sprinkles on top of the cake and the ice cream, <clears throat> which were the marquee names. But this year, no doubt, um, there are no from the fans perspective, there it there are no marquee names there is no one guy that you're just going to continue to keep watching over and over again you're going to watch just this one guy no if you're a boxing fan right now you're watching everybody because you're seeing a different type of drive you're seeing a different determination you're seeing a different hunger in these guys they want to win they want to be the best they want to be the big name so it's not even just the money it's the respect that everybody's after right now. So we're going to continue to see fights like this where two guys are, are going in there, going at it, man, like a Beretta or like a Manny, like a Manny Pacquiao, those two going at it. Those are the type of fights that we're going to be accustomed to seeing this year. Even in the so-called marquee fights, that's what you're going to be seeing. But Adrian Broner did what he had to do, man. Um, he uh succumbed to, he succumbed to fighting the way that he needed to in order to try to pull out the victory. It was close, it could have went either way. Um a lot of swing rounds, especially in the earlier rounds. But seven, I would say seven on. Um whoever was whoever was landing consistently the bigger shots was gonna be a guy. And that happened to be A B. He was landing some real good shots. The uppercuts were clean. It wasn't, you know, punches rolling over the top top of the guy's head, things of that nature. You know, he was trying to slip punches. You know, I saw where he could have, and that's always been the case with him, where he could have really, really separated himself with his footwork. His footwork is still bad. He hasn't worked on that. And that's why he gets dragged into these, um, these drag-out fights where he has to stand in there and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these guys because he can't separate himself um, on an elite level due to his footwork issues. If he had the footwork, he'd be able to slip in, slip out. Um, he'd be able to duck and dodge the way that he wants to. He'll be able to um, counter at a higher rate than what he's able to counter at. You know, when he counters, he gets countered because... His foot, his footwork it doesn't allow him to get into a position where he can get away. So, <clears throat> and it's not even about getting away. It's just about being able to step around a guy, turn him around when he needs to, you know, and catch him, catch him off guard with some, with some good combinations, some hard shots here and there, that type of thing. If, if he was able to do that, then it would be better, but we'll see. But anyway, man, good victory to Adrian Broner. Love what Granados got in there and did. Good job for both Adrians. Good job for boxing. Love the free uh, Showtime streaming. All of that good stuff. I streamed it. I don't know what you guys did. But anyway, man, hit me up. I'll see you guys at the next one. Peace.